Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video we will be talking about a very interesting topic and that is scabies. So let's get started. So what is scabies? The scabies infection occurs when there is an infestation of the skin by the human itch mite called Sarcoptes scaby variant hominis. These microscopic mites burrow into the upper layer of the human skin where they live and they lay their eggs. Sexual contact is the most common form of transmission of these mites and generally occurs among sexually active young people and therefore scabies has been considered by many to be a sexually transmitted disease. So from this definition of scabies, we get that the infestation is caused by these mites called Sarcoptes scaby, variant hominis. Variant hominis means that the human variant and they are actually tiny microscopic insects that burrow into the upper layer of the human skin, as we can see here, and lay their eggs there. And scabies is generally transmitted by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, and it actually most commonly is transmitted in younger individuals during sexual intercourse, and that's why it's considered by many to be a sexually transmitted disease or an STD. So now that we know what scabies is, let's take a closer look at what these mites look like. So the scabies mites are tiny eight-legged parasites, which are just about one-third of a millimeter long. The mites that infect humans are female and are about 0.3 millimeters to 0.4 millimeters long, and the males are about half the size. The mites are able to crawl but are unable to fly or jump, and can only be seen with a magnifying glass or a microscope. So this is basically what the female mites look like. They're approximately 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters long and the males are actually half the size and the females are actually responsible for the infection of scabies because they actually burrow beneath the skin and lay their eggs there. And this is actually what causes the inflamed burrow tracts and severe itching in the skin because these mites are actually crawling and moving under the skin. And because they are so tiny, they actually can't be seen with the naked eye and therefore we need a magnifying glass or a microscope to see them. So how does one contract scabies? So the scabies infection is very contagious and is spread by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. The mites spread easily to sexual partners and household members. In very few cases, the mites can also be spread indirectly by sharing articles of clothing, towels or bedding used by an infested person. So the scabies mites are usually transmitted during sexual contact and in very few cases it can also be spread by sharing clothes, towels or bedding with the infected person. So now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of the scabies infection. So itching is the most common and severe symptom of scabies and is usually worse at night. And the itching is usually produced because these mites are constantly crawling and burrowing and laying their eggs so you can actually feel them walking under your skin and this causes the patient to be severely itchy. And that is usually the main symptom of the disease. So one of the main signs of the disease is that the patient will have thin irregular burrow tracts made up of tiny blisters or bumps on their skin, especially in the armpits, around the waist, along the insides of the wrists, on the inner elbows, on the soles of the feet, around the breast, around the male genital area, on the buttocks, and on the knees. And this is basically what those burrow tracts look like. So now let's talk about the diagnosis of scabies. So the scabies infection is usually suggested by the presence of the typical rash, which as we mentioned in the slide before, the irregular burrow tracts made up of tiny blisters or bumps, and the worsening itch, particularly at night. So the patient will usually come to us with these little burrows on their skin and complain about the intense itching. But the definitive medical diagnosis can be made when evidence of the mites is found from a skin scraping test. So here the skin is scraped and covered with a drop of mineral oil and is then examined microscopically so that mites, eggs or pellets can be identified. So we basically do a scraping in an area where we can see a burrow or a track and then we add some mineral oil to examine it microscopically and look for the presence of mites, eggs or pellets. And this is how we can put the diagnosis of scabies. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of scabies. So the treatment of scabies involves eliminating the infestation with several creams and lotions called scabicides. So these are basically creams and lotions that can be applied to the affected areas and they actually kill all the mites, eggs and pellets. So these include products such as permethrin creams, lindane lotions, crotometone creams, 
and ivermectin creams. And even after these creams are applied and the mites begin to die, the itching may still persist and therefore the patient is advised to soak in cool water oatmeal baths, apply soothing lotions such as calamine lotion, and take some antihistamines to combat the itching. And that brings us to the end of this video on scabies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.